Welcome to the Vox Pathfinder 10 versus Orange Crush 12 demo and review video. In this video, I'm gonna compare the features of both of these amps, I'm gonna demo them, and I'm gonna give you some pros and cons, all to help you decide which amp's best for you. Hey, I'm Derek at 5 Minute Music, and I have years of experience playing the electric guitar, helping students learn how to play and use their amps, doing some live sound and some recording work, and I'm excited to dive into these amps with you. But first, I'm gonna give you a chance to sign up for my newsletter. Down in the description section below where it says sign up now, just click there, here's why. One, it's free, and two, in my newsletter, you will receive exclusive links to videos that have not been released publicly on YouTube, videos like how to get a great rock sound out of the Orange Crush 12, and how to get a gorgeous clean sound out of the Vox Pathfinder 10. So it's free, exclusive content that'll be valuable packed for you. Go ahead and sign up. Now, let's get started. So, first let's compare features that are similar on these amps. This one has a 6 inch speaker. This one has a 6.5 inch speaker. 12 watts, 10 watts, and they both have an independent volume and gain control. But there are some differences. A big pro for the Orange Crush 12 is that it has a 3 band EQ low, mids, treble, whereas the Vox Pathfinder 10 just has the bass and the treble EQ. I love the three band EQ. I love being able to dial in the mids more, and that's a clear pro for the orange and a con for the Vox, in my opinion. Now, for the channels. The Vox Pathfinder 10 is a two channel amp. You have a little button that can go from clean to overdrive, you just push it in there. And so it's a two channel amp, whereas the Orange Crush 12 is a one channel amp. However, on the Orange Crush 12, you have an independent overdrive knob where you can flavor the overdrive. So you have maybe a little bit more tone control and options on the Orange Crush 12, but you can change between tones because it's a two channel amp on the Vox Pathfinder 10. So I would give a pro to the Orange Crush 12 with that independent overdrive knob for a little bit extra flavor, but a pro on the other side for having a button to click between channels. Because if I wanna change tones on the Orange Crush 12, I've gotta dial it in, whereas on the Vox Pathfinder 10, I just click the button and I can go from clean to dirty just like that. But they're both very cool amps with the tones that they can generate. Now let's talk about price. The Vox right now is at $89.99 on Amazon and the Orange Crush 12 is at $99. Full disclosure, the orange companies and Vox companies, they didn't send me this amps. I didn't get any kind of promotional deal. I bought them with my own money off of Amazon. Now, free shipping on both of these, but there is tax depending on where you live. And I ended up paying about $110 for the Orange Crush 12, and I paid about $98 for the Vox Pathfinder 10. So a slight pro for the Vox, because it was about $12 cheaper, but still very similar in price. All right, we're gonna start comparing the clean tones. So I'm gonna start with the Vox Pathfinder 10. Here's the clean. So the bass was on five out of 10 and the volume was on six out of 10. So there's plenty more headroom to add more volume and I could increase or decrease the bass as I wanted. Give me a comment below, what'd you think about that sound? Now let's go to the clean sound on the Orange Crush 12. Now here's the clean on the Orange Crush 12 and I'm still using the neck pickup. Here's a small con. Because it's a one channel amp, all the knobs feed into one channel. So I have to dial back the overdrive and gain knobs to about three each. And I've cranked the volume all the way to 10. And also the bass is all the way up. So whereas on the Vox, I had more volume if I needed it, and I had more bass if I needed it, here the volume and the bass were all the way up. But the sound might have been exactly what you wanted the way it was. What do you think? Drop me a comment below. And also give me a like if you enjoy these comparisons. Now, let's go to a crunchy tone. On the Vox, to get a good crunch, I'm gonna leave it on the clean channel, but put the gain all the way to 10, and the volume's gonna be about six. Check this out. Oh, and I'm gonna be using the bridge pickup. Now let's dial in 
a crunchy tone on the orange crush 12. I've got the volume about five, the overdrive around four, and the gain around eight. Check this out. And of course, using the bridge pickup. Now I want to do a direct out or headphone out and let you hear it. The Orange Crush 12 has what they call the cab sim technology, so it's a headphone out. Here it is. So I had to turn the volume up a bit to get that level of gain through the headphones. In fact, the volume was at about six there. Now, I'm gonna go out of the Vox headphone line out. Now, their headphone out actually has a dual signal, it has a filtered signal to give you a really good recording level out of the line out. Listen to the difference, here it comes. What'd you think? Drop a comment below. That signal has a little more mids to it, I think. I had to turn the volume down to about three. I had to turn the volume down and you still get a massive tone. There's plenty of gain on that line out, so there's a lot to work with there. But what did you think? I wanna hear from you. Give me a comment below. If you like that comparison also, give me a like. And so last but not least, let's go high gain. So I'm gonna start with the Vox. I've got the gain all the way up on 10 and the volume on about eight and a half. Here we go. Oh, and I had to turn the treble back just a hair. I had to dial back the treble just a hair so it wouldn't get too shrill. Now let's go to the orange. So on the orange, I have the volume at about six and the gain in the overdrive around eight or nine. Here we go. So after hearing these amps, hearing the pros and cons, hearing the different sounds, what do you think? If you're interested in buying these amps, down in the description section below where it says buy now, you can click there. I am an Amazon affiliate and at no extra charge to you. If you buy it there, I get a small commission. It's just one way I support this channel and I'd greatly appreciate it. But maybe you have more questions. Well, look down in the comment section where it says question of the day. Let me know what else would you like to know about these amps? But if you want to watch more videos, I have those too. If you want to learn how to dial in a really good metal tone on the Vox, just click right there. And if you want to know why the Orange Cross 12 is a great home amp, click right there. And as always, click right there, subscribe, and hit the bell, because when you hit the bell, you get notifications when I come out with new videos like this. As always, thank you for your time. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.